Now, grab the shrimp over there. And, okay, Mrs. Maloney might be thinking, This I understand oh, because it's frozen. This is frozen and it is pre-cooked. And I'll tell you what I love about this is you can take out just what you want to use. This and then put it back in the freezer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you want me to take one out? Uh, no, one. <laughs> we're going to dump several in here. Oh. This is ready to go. And what, You didn't grow up in my house. Well, <laughs> one shrimp. That's all we get. So I'm going to dump the frozen. Now, believe me uh, when I tell you, this is so easy to use. Um, but also, it is frozen. So all you want to do, and it's already cooked. All you want to do is bring it up to temperature. So you, really with the frozen shrimp, you're not cooking them, you're just putting them into the meal so it's bring quick it, and, and easy. And them out. And you can save the ones that you didn't yep. eat so they're like, that you don't throw away the food. Because right. I know seniors are concerned. They don't want to throw things away because they don't have a lot of extra mm -hmm, money. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. even all of us, we want to conserve resources and be more efficient. Absolutely. So these frozen things, this is a cool it idea. Works. It does work sometimes. And that's, that's, a, that's a convenience food that I always have around. Yeah. And you know something, uh, for the little bit that I paid uh, for this handful of shrimp, you're worth it. You're, now, what's you're worth this stuff it. here for? That's this? olive oil, and um, and I love using it to cook with because it's uh, it's so healthy for you. It really is. So I'm going to dispel all the myths and and all the confusion when you walk down the uh, when you walk down the food aisle um, and you're looking at all these oils. You may see something on sale. And you don't know extra virgin. You don't know what to do. To do. Pick up some olive oil. It can be extra virgin or it can be a lighter version. Lighter just means that it's been pressed down the line um, from the first pressing. The you first understand? pressing. Yeah, the first pressing now, is Willis, the extra can virgin. Can you use olive oil to cook popcorn? Uh, absolutely. Can you, can you use olive oil to cook eggs? Absolutely. How about chicken? Can I can I put a little bit of oil in and cook it with chicken? It goes all over the place. Is it better than canola oil? Is it, it better is. than Crisco? Is it better than butter yeah. for you? Just just eliminate all the other oils and concentrate on olive oil. Okay, Period. olive oil, makes olive it oil. Real, makes it easy, doesn't it? Makes oh, it, it was easy. easy to hold it, that's for sure. Do I you, can definitely do that. Do you, are you getting the beautiful aromas that are coming off of this? We're ready to plate it? Yes. I was answering your question. I yeah. mean, you'd ask me if I did, and I <laughs> oh, said, Oh, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. See, you're used to talking to people. I gave the answer, but you weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> you're a chef. You tell people what to do all day, don't you? In the you're kitchen. the chef. You have a chef hat on. I, I'm just, I just have the I have chef a baker hat, hat on. Right. No, you should be. No, we're going to squeeze the oranges in. No, 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 no. 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 I'll tell you what I'm doing with the oranges. The oranges I'm using as a garnish, but I'm also using plenty of them as a garnish. And it's kind of a tricky way to get your family to eat some healthy, you know, some yeah. fruits in there too. So what we're going to do? We're going to take the the stir fry. Okay. And. I can I'm hold gonna, the plate for you. You can, thank you. Just, uh, I'm just going to lay out some of the uh, some of the bok choy leaves, and uh, then we're going to just take and spoon. Oh, you know what? I I forgot. I cooked some brown rice up ahead of time. Brown rice takes uh, a little while to cook, so what you want to do is you want to cook a big batch of it and put some of it in the freezer again in small little bags. And brown uh, rice is regular rice with brown coloring in it. No, sir. It's uh, <laughs> brown rice that hasn't been stripped of all of its goodness. Oh, so there's more nutrients and more fiber in Absolutely. brown rice. Absolutely. Yes. Gee. And it tastes. You know what? I, I I love the flavor of it. It's kind of a okay. nutty, great flavor. Great. So we're gonna put the brown rice down first. Did a good job with the rice. <laughs> Thaw that out in the microwave if you'd like. Okay. Now, uh, you know what I'm going to do, David? Yeah, I don't use a knife to pick up food with. I, I, <laughs> that was I'm another gonna, learning thing I'm that just the people dump, had dump. in the class. All right, yes, I, I was sick that day. I, I didn't know. That. Nummy, nummy. Doesn't that nummy, smell delicious? Nummy, nummy. Now, wait. Now, mm, wait. We're not done yet. Tasting goody. We're going to take some of the oranges. And we're gonna use it as a garnish, but we're putting plenty in there. Are you so, supposed to eat those when they come uh, on a yes, plate? Yes, yes, yes. After you eat, before I know somebody you eat. that actually eats the entire thing. Now, I'll tell you what else is kind of cool. And these have got tons of vitamins in them. Are sprouts, fresh sprouts, not the canned, awful, horrible things that you see. Sprouts, but fresh are beans sprouts that have been kind of sprouted. Bean sprouts. And what I'm going to do is take them right out of the bag, and I'm going to dump them on top. Look at how beautiful that looks, doesn't it? Yeah. Are you, you going to tell the people about how you cook for the priests at night? Well, yes, I could, actually. That's I, an interesting story. I, you like it. I think it is, too. I, I cook for the priests at uh, St. Francis High School. Yeah. And they're wonderful gentlemen. Um, I'll bet they say prayers for you. They do. I ask them to. <laughs> <laughs> They've got direct connections. Yeah. And yeah. we're just going to garnish a little bit with uh, some chives just to make it look pretty. And, uh, and give it some flavor too. So this is the this is the final dish. And there's other things you can put peanuts on it. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, by the way, I also do some uh, teaching. I teach uh, in the community. Yeah. For uh, very very nice. Thank I, you. I'm impressed. And for, uh, well, there's a, that's the 
What's well, this, to make it look prettier? It's the show plate. Oh, right? yeah, Isn't that yeah, I know that? a lot about that because I've read about those <laughs> things. This is what, you put the plate on a little presentation yes, plate. there it is. Now, that's the final dish. And then you put dish. that on the, on the table. And it's so beautiful. And it's so beautiful, uh, and they say. so beautiful. I feel so good eating with you, Chef Jim. <laughs> You're a wonderful cook. Hey, listen, what are we forgetting here? We're forgetting something. To say our prayers. We, we, we are forgetting to say our prayers. Okay, what else did we forget? And uh, we forgot to, uh, we were talking about, we were talking about seniors. Yes. And I just wanted to kind of finish that thought. Okay. Yeah, we can set that here. Okay. Um, the seniors, uh, the seniors in this area, come to uh, some some little classes that I do, and Independent Health sponsors them, and it's wonderful because they come and they talk and they visit and they have fun. They bring me gifts. It's great. However, the problem is. It's like preaching to the choir. These people want to be there. They're already kind of on the healthy track. David, that's why this show is, and I'm getting serious here, that's yes. why this show is so important because there are people out there who, who really do need help. They don't know how to even take the first step toward healthy cooking. And maybe today we've spurred something. They've said, oh, you know what? I am going to go down the Asian aisle. Whole yes, foods. Whole foods. Do your own curry I'm going to stay away the from paste. the cans. I'm going to shop the outside. I'm going to stay away from those middle aisles that are like quicksand. I've seen people go in the middle aisles of supermarkets and never come out. Yes. Honestly, honestly. Yes, it's like the okay. Bermuda Triangle. It, you go exactly. in and you don't come so out. They're gone. It, they're where gone. did they go? I don't know. I don't okay. know. But anyway, stick to the outside aisles, avoid the sample, uh, usually it's a woman, I'm gonna get in trouble here, but the sample lady with the little cubes of the cheese. The sample woman? You got something her. with the against the sample have, woman? Are you kidding me? I got an extra grind with that woman. But I like them. They no, always no, no, talk no. to Stay me. Stay away from and her. They're Stay nice. away. Five grams of fat in that little cheese cube. And she's handing it to you and she looks like your grandmother. So you're gonna take it and eat it? No. You walk right by her, and if she keeps following you, take some mineral water and sprinkle it on her. I, she'll melt like what, it. What's this? Well, that's that's your fork because uh, you need to taste things around the table because you are. <laughs> and this is the producer's fork, and you kind of reach over yeah. and well, you can grab a little bit <laughs> off the plate, oh, other my people's gosh. plates, and bring it over. I am so. I am so. <laughs> and this can be your thing. And if you don't mind, I'm going to try. I'm so impressed. Mm. And you eat the you. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Mm -hmm. I knew you were going to do mm -hmm. this. <laughs> mm. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. But kids can have fun. They can take, you know, they can Wait have fun with something like that. I don't see any candy on the no table. No candy on the table. And I you don't know see any else? pop. Where's no the pop? No pop. And I'm so glad you brought that up. The chips. Don't do it. My don't chips. Don't do it. My pretzels. I'll tell you what to do, David. Take the uh, beautiful pitcher. You, people have got beautiful pitchers. Burger squeeze under here? some No burger. Squeeze some lemon in the, in the water. Set that on the table. Get your kids some stem. They have some plastic stemmed glasses now out there for the summertime or whatever. Nice stemmed glasses. Put those on the table. The kids are going to feel special. They're drinking water out of these stemmed glasses. They've got a little lemon in them. They're eating something beautiful that you've normally uh, eat in a restaurant. Have the, kids, have the kids make their own pizzas. You can have uh, pita wedges and have them top it and bake their own pizzas. Healthy stuff. Very good. Healthy well. stuff. This has been an absolutely fantastic show. We've been talking with Chef Jim, Jim Big, fl Rebels. big flavor is what we're talking Main about message, today. Whole foods, stay away from preservative-laden stuff and frozen stuff, no no more pop, yes, no more yes. cheeseburgers. And Low fat, food. big flavor. Very, That's very what we're good. doing. Okay, thanks so much for joining us, Medical Matters. See you again for a little fun, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> For more Medical Matters television shows, go online to medicalmatters.tv.